In campaign 2018, he's one of the strongest pro-life voices in Springfield and a top Republican lawmaker. Now, Representative Peter Breen is under assault from pro-choice Democrats who want to take him out. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely has more on a key West suburban race. State Representative Peter Breen knows why Democrats have targeted him for defeat. This district is one that uh, very much rejected uh, President Trump, so went very strongly for uh, Mrs. Clinton in the last general election. And Democrats have chosen abortion as the key issue in the fight. He wants it to be illegal for a woman to have an abortion, even in the cases of rape and incest. That's the one issue, literally the only issue, Breen's opponent, former school board member Tara Costa Howard, would talk about. Is that the only issue you're running on? My opponent's extreme views. The voters are concerned about the tax levels, they're concerned about the jobs, they're concerned about their family and friends leaving the state. Breen's the Republican floor leader in the Illinois House. His pro-life views are well known, and he led a failed lawsuit to overturn Governor Rounder's approval of Medicaid abortions. Today, rape survivors came together to blast Breen's opposition to abortion. We are not pro-abortion, but we feel that abortion must be a choice and adoption must be a choice, or parenting must be a choice for us and us alone. If my opponent wants to run on her, her support for taxpayer-funded abortion as the primary uh, issue in the race, she's going to lose, uh, and I'm going to win and win handily. With House Speaker Mike Mandigan assisting Tara Costa Howard, Breen concedes he'll be outspent, perhaps by as much as two to one. But Breen also says he survived the last blue wave in 2016, and he believes he will do it again. Reporting live from the control room, Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. Robin Erica. Okay, Derek, thank you.